So I've mentioned my capstone project on this channel a few times. My capstone, the crowning achievement of my undergraduate degree is going to be about vampires. Guys, this is a, uh, this is a sneak peek actually into what my senior project that I'm starting work on in the fall is about. I have officially this quarter started working on my senior capstone for school. Whenever I mentioned my capstone, you might have wondered what I was talking about. Um, well, I'm here to explain all that. So I'm in the honors college at my university. One of my minors is in honors interdisciplinary studies, which is kind of a mouthful. The final requirement for me to complete this minor is what is called the senior capstone project. What is that? Let me just read you an excerpt from the school's website. A senior project is the final graduation requirement for recognition of a minor in honors. The project is an original, independently designed, concentrated work in a student's major field or another field of interest. We call it a project and not a thesis because our capstone can be so much more than a research paper. Dream widely as you develop your honors project. If you're new here to my channel, you might not know that I like vampire media. And if you've been here for a while, you probably have connected the dots at this point. I've always enjoyed vampire media. I think it's fun, but I didn't really make it an official part of my brand until I was a freshman in college. I'm not gonna get too into the weeds about the details of that because I talk about it in my capstone project. So what is my capstone project? What is this thing that I've been alluding to for years and decided to make an entire YouTube video announcing? Well, I interviewed vampires, if you couldn't tell from the title of this video. And you might be like, Emily, what do you mean you interviewed vampires? It, it is exactly what it sounds like. Through the power of the internet and my journalism know-how, I found people who consider themselves real vampires, and I reached out to them, asked for an interview, and um, did that. I interviewed five vampires in total. If you're intrigued by this, good. That's great to hear because I have formatted these interviews as a podcast series. It is called The Vampire Tapes and it is available for streaming on Anchor FM and Spotify. I'm currently figuring out the details of making it available on other platforms such as Apple Music and Amazon Music and just other podcast platforms. We'll see how that goes. I'm also going to be uploading the podcasts to the project's YouTube channel. I will also have them available to listen on the website for this project. I will have both the YouTube channel and the website linked down in the description, as well as the Anchor FM and Spotify pages. The episodes, or tapes as I've been calling them, are going to be released on a weekly basis starting April 25th. The tape dropping on April 25th is a tape zero. It's like an introduction or prologue to the series. And the first actual interview will be released the following Monday, which is May 2nd. And then a new tape will be released every Monday until May 30th. I have spent this entire last school year working on this project. I'm still technically working on it. And I'm really happy with the way that things have turned out for it. I'm very proud of the work that I have done towards this. So if listening to a series of interviews um, with vampires sounds interesting to you, check out the links that I've put down in the description. I came up with this idea four years ago as a college freshman. So now being like two months out from graduation and seeing this project actually come into fruition and be a real thing is very surreal for me. It's very cool. So yeah, go check out the vampire tapes. People who follow me on Twitter already know about this series because I tweeted the trailer for it on Friday. So there are some benefits to following me on Twitter. It's not just always nonsense. And I'm not saying that you love me. I'm not saying